Hey everybody, Jace Allen here from Rum Runner Guitars with a special update on the CNC guitar building series. Someone had asked me about doing the 3D contours, uh, how I did it, so that they could do it with a different uh, file than the Stratocaster. And so rather than using the um, 3D object sort of clip art uh, files for Aspire. I'm going to show you how I did, how I created those from an STL file. So what I did, you download Blender, Blender 3D free. There's a, going to be a link in the description. And then I found a free, or maybe I bought it. I don't know. I'm not sure where I got it from. It's a, it's a file. For, it's an STL file for 62 vintage Stratocaster. It says unnamed body. I don't know. I don't know what that is, but anyway, it's a it's an STL file. Um, I included it in the drive, my Google Drive, with all the files. So if you want to download that, you can. Uh, but if you're doing a different body style, just find an STL or a 3D file that you can import into Blender. So then what I did was come over here to import STL and I grabbed this uh, and then as you can see it's the it's a body of a strat and there's the arm contour and on the other side is the belly contour and those are the only parts we want so what we're gonna do Center this up, and then we go to modeling, and then that brings up all the vertices. And then you only want you want to you're going to do this in two in two pieces basically. You're going to do do it twice. So for the arm contour, we basically just want to get rid of everything we don't want. So that we're only left with the arm contour. And you'll be able to see it pretty easily here. Oops, there's vertices over there. We gotta get rid of that one. Oops. Uh oh, what is that? Oh, we got a rogue <laughs> vertices hanging out here. I don't know why. Oh well, maybe it'll go away after a bit. So then we come in here and delete all this. Delete all this. Delete. Get rid of that. Nope, nope, we gotta keep that. Because that's where you see where your line is. That's where it starts to dip down and then this is the actual radius so then everything under that you can get rid of got to be careful you don't want to delete anything that's connected to this line because that's part of your get rid of all that and you can hold shift down too and select so you don't have to keep going you know select all the stuff you want to delete and then delete it all at once but I'm just kind of going through here so you can see. Now let's try these. I don't think I want to go any farther than that because if I get rid of that, I'll lose my... Well, actually, we can probably go right to this one because that's a nice clean edge there. Sweet.
There we go. Nice clean edge. Nice clean edge there. And that looks good. I have no idea what this is hanging out over here. Hopefully that won't make an issue. I don't think it will. Because we're going to select. What is that? <laughs> uh, I don't remember that being there before. Uh, anyway. Not sure what that is or why it's there. But... Okay, so then select your contour, export, STL. I call it arm contour, export STL. Okay, and then back to Aspire. File, import, import component 3D model, arm contour STL, open. Uh, scale, center model. I come up here and hit that so you can see a side view. Position and import. This is where you want to drag your slider until that shape touches that red. You can use arrow keys too. And it's better to go up above it a little bit. You want to totally cover that red yep okay we're good then import and uh, okay that's from before let me reset my preview okay there we go so 2d view grab it move it over you can see it fits in there just perfect and then we go to tool paths 3d rough this comes up all the time. I don't know why. I just hit OK. And it'll help. Yeah, that's right. It wants to recalculate everything. Yada, yada. Okay, then your window will come up. 3D rough. Calculate. And then go back. Click it again. Tool paths. 3D finish. Calculate. And there you go. That should be. And then preview all sides, and you'll be able to see the 3D. There you go. That's pretty good. See? That's pretty good. And then for the back, come in here, delete everything. Oops. Layout. Delete. Boom. Oh, that was a light, I think. Um, import. Same file, STL, vintage unnamed, import, turn it upside down so you can see the belly contour, back to modeling, oops, oops, am I upside down, no, I'm not, and you hold the middle uh, mouse button down on Windows to uh, rotate, and then... We're going to get rid of everything except the belly cutout. Come over here. That's your move. you got to select the whole thing in order to move it. And then that brings this up and you click inside that thing. And that's your sort of your anchor, that center. It rotates around this center point. and clean as clean as possible I'm hitting the delete key, by the way, when I 
select those nodes and then hit delete and then it brings us up and then you click vertices Oops. and then we can get rid of all of this probably these and probably That looks pretty good. Maybe a couple. Maybe a couple of these. We got a nice clean edge there. There, that's nice. That looks pretty clean. Now that's a little crappy there. Okay, there we go. That's our arm contour, belly, belly contour, belly contour. That's pretty dirty over there. Let's smooth this over. Zoom in here and get rid of some of this garbage. There we go. Nice and clean. Nice and clean. It will make things look way better. there's an easier way to do this but I don't know what it is so I'm not really uh, very educated in 3d design and 3d you know modeling so this is kind of a hack job but it works so there you go all right so we export uh, STL again belly contour export and then this is where things get tricky, doing the flip side. So you toggle to the to the back. So import import component. You want to be on the back. So you want to make sure you're flipped. Toggle bottom side. And this should be there, I believe. right add to previous components you want to make sure I'm not sure why that was upside down but that has to be and then we'll do import oops Can't close that import component belly open uh, scale center X Position and import, and then you want to make sure that it's all the way, all the way out, all the way out. Yep, that's what I said. Zero. This is discard data below zero plane. I don't think that matters. Uh, import. 2D, there it is, and it's backwards for some reason. 
So I go to f mirror, selected, flip horizontal, close. Then you want to double click this belly contour, come over here to uh, subtract from previous components. Position it, close, click it, tool paths, 3D rough. It does this. Oh, we got an error now. Set current model height, two and three eighths. We'll just say an inch and three quarter. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Calculate. There it is. Toolpath. Uh, 3D finish. Calculate. Boom. There we go. Preview all sides. And there we have a beautiful arm cut out. Look at that. Or belly cut out, rather. And arm cut out. So there you go. And if you want to see it, if you go flip to the front, go to body profile, and then just get rid of your tabs, hit calculate, and then preview all sides, it gets rid of the tabs, and then you can double click this and it eliminates that background. And then you can see it, see how nice that looks. And that's basically what it's going to look like, too. So there you go. That's how I do the 3D contours. So if you're adept at Blender and you can create your own, you know, contours or 3D models, or you can find one, then you can use that to edit it like the... You know, like a Les Paul top, you'd probably want to do something like this. And then in Aspire, you can also you can also model. You have modeling tools up here, and you can carve and and you know push and pull and and kind of like kind of like you're molding and carving things. So if you get adept at that, you can do it that way too. Um, I haven't really figured that out. <laughs> yeah, see sculpt. And then you can do different things. And if you're good at it, you can sculpt a 3D, you know. But uh, that's a little beyond this tutorial, so. But that should get you going on the 3d contours so so that's that if you have any questions go ahead and feel free to drop me a line and i appreciate you tuning in thank you